So this is part three of the unboxing. Now all that's left is the little things that go in it. So I already, in the last video, I put up the bridle and the saddle. And I was talking about the sleeches I own. I own uh, two Frisian sleech horses, a male and a female. I own a knob stopper, I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. I own a Clydesdale, a Tennessee Walker, and a Thoroughbred. And today I got some, I don't know what breed, but let's find out in the book if it says in the book. I don't know if it will. No, it does not say what breed, but it's adorable. So that's just, yeah. So we got a little, I'm going to guess, full. She's adorable. So we're going to put her in this little pasture in the back. We're going to have the doors open just because and we're going to take out her mom. So, here is her mom. Her mom looks very similar to her. So we're gonna put her here with the baby. And get rid of our trash. Next up is the owner, or the human that we got. So we're gonna cut this open. Take her out. Now, she looks very cute. So, comment down names for the two horses and her. We're going to put her here like she's watching them. Because why not? Next, we will do the little blanket and halter. I'm pretty sure there's a halter in here. If not, then it's just a blanket. But... Nope, there is a halter. Now, I have another blanket and halter, but it's up with my thoroughbred. So, we're going to put this on the mama. Because why not? I mean, the mama always needs something warm. And we're going to give her this, too. Now, I've always wanted to make bridles and stuff for these horses. But the only thing I've made for bridles for them is hair ties, because I'm cheap. And hair ties are fast and easy. But it's good to get some actual branded ones. So, here's this. Actually, we're going to make it like this, where she is. Taking her out for a walk. Like that. Okay. So next we got this hay and alfalfa. They're pretty heavy. Not. So here's the hay and here's the alfalfa. Or whatever you want to call it. Sometimes I call it something that's not. So we're going to put those over here, over where you can't see them, of course. And next, we got some apples, some carrot, or the basics. I'm going to put the apples in the crate, put the carrots in there too, and then we got a pitchfork that we can just stick in there. 
So here's that. And set that over there too. So my thoughts on this barn is it's a really cool barn and you can change it in to you can take the little stall or the little pasture pieces out and make a paddock with it. So that's the cool feature. Now, whatever names that you guys comment, I will be writing on these and those. 